Hey people, it's his army here, back with the next part of my Outriders playthrough. So last time we arrived at Eagle's Peak, uh, took out the giant lava spider, and now it's time to deal with the insurgents on the other side of the mountain. So uh, let's make our way swiftly across the cable cars. Oop, this one. Yeah, and then we got to deal with these guys. I'm on my way across to secure the cable car to the tower. Good. I'll gather my equipment. Hold on. I still got the small matter of taking out an entire insurgent base first. Ah, yes, well, uh, not much I can help with there. Do try not to die. Nice. Um, I tested that as well, that modded shotgun that we got, um, the purple shotgun, uh, and the ability on it is awesome. So there's some ammo here I can demonstrate. So basically, if they ever want to reload my double gun, like spend a load of rounds on this, get to halfway through this ammo, and then if I roll, the shotgun reloads, but also my double gun reloads. So that's a pretty cool strategy, uh, and I think it's one of those mods that you probably want to keep on one of your guns, especially if you're like up front uh, taking on the enemies, like you are with um, a tanky character like a Devastator. Okay, obviously it doesn't work if you uh, completely empty your clip. Is there anything else around here now? So that's the way forward. Aha! Yeah, I finally went back as well to the rift, the main uh, hmm. base camp. A journal. Hmm, a journal. Uh, yeah, so I went, went back to the main base camp um, and turned in my two historian mis missions. So I had one from the first city. And the one um, that we came across here, which is like to go through that gap, that was also a historian one. Uh, and I got this armor, which is pretty cool. I do like the looks of this. Um, the exosuit. So if I can find some more exosuit, I'll be down with that. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Um, and obviously I put on my uh, my mod that gives us an extra skill, uh, so an extra earthquake. Okay. There was also a really long side quest actually for the, uh, the woman who asked us to um, take out the lava spider. She had a quest af after we took this one, um, which involved uh, like this weird religion. Um, so that, that was pretty cool. Firing all their crap at us. Uh oh.
wondering what the hell was going on, but we've got two big uh, tanky dudes. So I throw you a bit too close and personal right now. Let's back off a little. Take out some of the, the rabble. Well, actually, we can get a good angle on this guy here. Take this one in. Oh, now there's two of them. Okay, this is lining up nicely because the uh, explosion ability we've got is just rinsing both of them at the same time. Get up to this last couple of guys. Oh wow. Oh hi. Okay, so usual story, let's uh just clear out. It's normally at least like one chest or one one item around in a big arena like this. Maybe not. Okay, we had a couple of good uh, nooks and crannies there, but no dice. Hey, Zahidi. There's nothing up here but monsters and insurgents, right? Why even bother fighting over these rocks? Because of that tower. You understand why we built it, right? It was our last hope, our Hail Mary, to find that signal. But it never worked. There was always too much anomaly interference, and without the frequency, it was impossible to track down. The insurgents eventually captured the tower, slaughtered everyone, not even knowing what it was for. This mountain could have been what finally brought us together. Instead, it led to more disappointment. And after all that, you're still trying. Why? Because... We have to. Okay, feels like there's going to be a side quest here at some point. You can even see an ammo container through the wall. Uh, well, that might just be higher up. Any there. Feels like there's gotta be some sort of boss here. Faux show. Sure. Right, so we're going straight across there. What's up here then? Anything? Yep, dead end. See more creature nests, so it's not a good sign. Okay, so we're meant to go that way. Oh, great, another grave. useful to be able to just roll instead of having to reload both your guns. Whoa! 
Well. Right. Pick your head up for me. So I don't have to deal with a sniper. I don't understand what that missile attack is that is coming in on me. Is that like a... Uh, some sort of foreshadowing for the boss we're going to fight? Are they just like firing down on us throughout this? These like little scraps? Okay. Expected something to be hiding around here, but... Nothing so far? Some writing here. Some writing here. Uh, my name is Doofy, and I can't read, so I just know there's some writing here. Ew, chest. All green stuff. Okay. Nope. Already got that ability. Got so much iron. It's literally. I think I'm gonna have to stop breaking down the guns and start because I, I got barely. Well, I got quite a lot of cash, but when I went back to the rift, everything was like at least three grand. Okay, what do we get then? So you can see it flashing up in the corner about all the different shards that we got. Um, nice. Yeah, we've got plenty of iron. The issue is leather. It's really hard to come by. If there was an option to buy leather, I probably would. Fire man. Unfortunate for you. You're on fire as well. Now I'm on fire. Ah. Whoa. Ah, there's the shell guy. Whoa! Dude. How are they getting through my barrier then? Okay, right. But yeah, we finally found the guy who's doing all the shelling, so let's take this a bit, a bit more seriously. Right, pay attention as well, the shelling. Blue. 
Literally all of them then. Okay. Right, we got up close and personal with uh, two big guys here. Let's back off a little. Bring some of the, uh, the ads first. That ability. some funky noises then when we picked up those items. Uh, fusion shots. Okay, slow motion shots. I actually try and level that one um, piece of equipment up for my hands just to uh, see what we get out of it. The ammo disappeared. That's where we need to go in there, I'm guessing. Or is it up here we need to go? No, it's up here. Okay. Right, well, let's go back inside there then. It's bound to be something for us. Aha! God damn it. It's all green. That's the thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure there'll be something in the settings, uh, like a lot of these games, where it's like you can choose not to pick up certain items and they'll automatically be dismantled instead. I get anything under blue. Aha, another chest. Ooh, special unit helmet. Nice. Just booted the hell out of that door. Okay, let's restock. Feels like there's a reason that is there. <laughs> nice. Okay, well, I have all the cover here. 
No! You're not allowed in my domain. No! We die around here. Another beastie guy. Go out and deal with this guy. Well, here you go. Probably one of the longer missions I think we've done so far. Oh. Sorry, I need to loot. You'll have to wait. Hide from me, scum. I am the mighty doofy. Gotta clear out this port before I get the radio tower. No more for shells for you. Nice. Ford looks clear from now. Better move out before they regroup. Okay. Oof. Boulder Dash. Okay, that's a new mod. Can't believe this ability called Boulder Dash. Improved Impaler. Yeah, I'm keeping one of these gloves. So I just want to try something out. Uh, just to see what what happens when. Um, when you upgrade something from green to blue, just to see what like if it gives you a random mod, uh, or whether it's like a predestined one and you have to choose it. You. Golem resistance. Okay, like it's not it's not a waste. Uh, okay, at the moment, I'm just keen to keep what I've got on because I'm happy with it. Um, like anything with mods, I'm just gonna just trade in because once you've got it, you've got it. Um, there we go. So now we've got stone circle. So basically, we got an additional four meters. So anything we kill now in quite a decent range will be giving us health. So, I'm happy we finally got that. Um, and then I think I need to like spend some time and maybe diversify some of the skills that we do have. There's chests everywhere here. Oh my god. Is this like gearing me up for some 
super battle. I feel like he's trying to make me make sure I'm ready for this. Oh wow. Okay, that's a new skill as well. Okay, we'll leave the... Actually, we'll mold the gravity leap. Because I want to make sure I learn that ability. Zahidi, I've been wondering. No one ever tried flying over the anomaly? Of course they tried. I mean, back in the day when we had things that could fly. And they dropped like a rock when their electronics flatlined. There is no such thing as over the anomaly, or under, or around. There's just dive for cover in the mud. Okay, but I feel like I got cut off before I should have then. Dunham, I'm in sight of the radio tower. Have your people ready to grab that cable car and send Zahidi over. Waiting on your word, Altered. Okay, so it looks like we've got one last hurdle to tackle here. This is going to be some sort of uh, insurgent leader we're going to have to deal with. Ew. Juggernaut, Captain. Shotgun is super powerful. No heat into you. guy at the top to deal with as well by the looks of it. Okay, let's pick up some of this stuff. Make sure we don't lose it. Whew, okay. The cremator. Right, last sweep of the area. These areas have been so big. <laughs> These sweeps keep taking longer and longer. Um, although it was worth it in the last area, there was like three chests. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know if like the, the first guy that we came across was like the, meant to be the boss, because uh, he had altered abilities, but he went down pretty fast. The other guys were more annoying, to be honest. 
Okay. Unless there's someone hiding inside this tower. More goodies, thank you very much. Okay. One last battle, maybe? Or no? Yeah. It's a very weird carcass. Right, everything is locked and loaded. Captain, I freed the cable car. It's yours. Okay, that felt a bit anticlimactic. If your frequency really works, if that radio tower leads us to the signal, if we can contact the Flores, needless to say, this can change everything. One step at a time, Doc. Let's just get you over here in one piece. Yes. That would be nice. Okay, so it looks like the last thing is just gonna... Oh, okay, I didn't even have to transport him. He's in. Hold it. The signal. That's... No, we're too far away. There's too much interference from the anomaly to find coordinates. But, I have a direction. Either in the forest or somewhere beyond. What aren't you telling me? Nobody's ever come back alive from the forest. Yeah, I figured you're gonna say something like that. That's the same with all the places. <laughs> you hear that? Something's under the sea. Jacob, prepare the truck. We're heading towards the forest. Oh, the forest? Of course. Driving into savage, uncharted territory and breathing a fungus that liquefies your organs was on my list of things to do today. You know, if I had a fucking nickel for every time... Maybe we switch the radio off for a little while. <laughs> nice. Okay, wavelengths and wishes. Right, okay, I need to speak to Jakob now. Okay, well there should be like one... Yeah, look, I, you can actually see it on the map here. This here, unknown area, no quests available in this area. What is that about? Okay, let's go back and speak to Jakob. And maybe there'll be one more person we can speak to for this last quest. Because there's definitely that one gate that we came across which looked like it was a quest area. Okay, so there we go. So we got both the cable carts working. Send here mission. And the historian mission. It feels like there should be one more. Aha! There we go. Okay, it's Sahidi. What's he want? These powers. What I can do, none of it makes any fucking sense. Has anyone ever studied an altar or tried to understand why, how? Opportunities for study aren't exactly lining up. You're the first to offer. Oh, I'm not offering. There is one. 
who's known for delving into the secrets of your kind, but not gently. He's an altered, notorious for the trail of experiments he's left behind. They call him the Alchemist. Ew. Both sides stay far Fancy. away, but he has a lab somewhere deep in these mountains. If you go looking, be careful, but of course, I'd be very curious to know what you find. I'm in. I'm still interested in whatever you... Okay. Right, yeah, let's test my little theory out about this. Okay, so if we improve the rarity... Oh, look how much it takes. Okay, so it gives us three random mods. Okay. Gravity leap, that's the one we just made. So that seemed like it was only giving us ones that we already had, if that makes sense. Like, it was, it was mods that we already had access to on our list, rather than anything new. Well, I'll save the weapons, because we just don't need the iron. Okay, anything... We can change... Can we... Uh, it needs titanium to level up, so we could go up a level with that. Pruverity. Just haven't got the titanium. Okay, we are slowly unlocking more mods though, which is cool. Okay. Definitely want to upgrade that while we can. So that's the only thing that's quite tight actually. So as soon as you get something that's purple, it's a lot harder to level it up. Okay, we'll leave that at level 17 for now. He was thought to be operating in a hidden bunker, somewhere near the insurgent occupied radio. I'll do a sweep of the area. Okay, we will go and uh, see if we've got time to do this in this episode because it does sound like we're going to learn a bit more about the story doing this quest. And these side quests normally only take about five, ten minutes, so. It looks like the Here hidden we go. bunkers the Haiti mentioned. The alchemist must be close. The door opening cutscene. Love it. Okay. Interesting. Just looks like a hole in the ground. No. State of this place. No. Set me free. Okay. And you will find me surrounded by the embers, the ashes of your charred body. Okay, I wasn't really sure what enemies I was expecting here, but I didn't think it would be spiders. And these guys.
loads of them. Nice. Oh, did I not pick up the key? Oh, I'm a moron. Okay. Okay, let's just have a quick check down this way before we uh, activate this. Okay, nothing hiding down there. I'm guessing that door must open then. Using POWs as lab rats. Why am I not surprised? Hey, Zahidi. What else can you tell me about this alchemist? A couple years ago, I stumbled on some buried reports. Seemed like old President Nyberg was funding the alchemist experiments. They were hoping to make a weapon to use against the insurgents. But whatever it was this alchemist produced, it scared the ECA. The reports were buried. The details classified. Okay. Seems like another room for a scrap. It's weirdly quiet. There we go. Love the way he announced himself then. No. New handgun, nice. This alchemist spent years experimenting with the anomaly. He was capturing soldiers, nailing them to crosses in the storm, shoving the anomaly right up their asses. Trying to make them altered? To weaponize them? No. In the end, I think he was trying to figure out how to reverse it. How to make himself oh, human again. Interesting. Hella creepy. <laughs> Can you hear me? Can you see?
so many of these guys. Okay. Right, is this like the last journal now? Got this room just getting turned around in it. do that let's make sure oh wow doesn't look like there's anything else hiding around here oh So that's interesting. So we actually got some background then on um Zahidi. I found the alchemist. He's dead. Stabbed with a rebar, then burned all to hell. Or the other way around. Can surgeons get to him? No. One of his test subjects, subject six. Seems like he survived the alchemist's experiments. And he wasn't too happy about it. My god. Come on back, Outrider. Okay, yeah, so before we start talking then, uh, so yeah, it seemed like that is the guy that Seth was on about, so the altar that is too powerful. So that's interesting. Because I think he's, like, going to be the big boss at the end. So I'm glad we did that on the uh, on this episode because, uh, yeah, we learned a little bit more about the story here. Because most of the other quests have just been... Um, I mean, they've all been interesting, uh, but they've been like nothing story related and that's the first one I've come across that's actually contributed more to the story than anything else the alchemist what did you find no answers I'm just another insane fuck who paid the price for his questions okay what do we get Volta dash impaler How has that one got more armor? He even received 8%. Nice. Close range damage. Okay, I've already got that ability anyway, so I don't really need that. We'll claim this. The anomaly provides us with far more questions than answers. Those questions can easily turn towards obsession. Trust me, I know this. Okay, so you can replay that quest. Uh, Madmen just... like that alchemist give scientists a bad name. Double armor when your skill ends. We already have that ability. No, we have this one. Okay. Never been this. 
so it's probably safe to say that we should uh, definitely trade this one in because we got a new ability if we do nice okay uh, well I hope you've enjoyed this one uh, we'll move on to the next area in the next episode um, the, forest, the forest which is obviously where this all started so yeah, we see Jakob's feelings about it. Let's see how it goes. Uh, so subscribe for more and I'll catch you in the next one.